हेलो गाइस यू ऑल आर वेलकम विद डॉक्टर वीरपाल सिंह आवर टुडे क्लास टॉपिक इज वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट एज वी ऑल नो वेस्ट मींस व्हाट द यूजफुल मटेरियल आफ्टर यूज वी ऑल पीपल यूज सम मटेरियल्स सम थिंग्स एंड आफ्टर यूज दे दे बिकम वेस्ट फॉर एग्जांपल we use toothbrush with toothpaste after using that become waste so we use biscuits but its wrapper become waste but before using the wrapper is very important to keep safe and protect the biscuits so you you all know waste is nothing what generated by human being so this is the important thing that we know and the planning to minimize the waste is called waste management today we discuss and know well and more about the how to minimize the waste by waste management let us see need to know nation and not only nation and state but throughout the globe facing the problem of waste and it is our problem concerned with the waste management and disposal the minimization of waste the role of microorganism in the waste and pollution control so throughout the globe all think and worried about the waste generation and and ultimately we are we are focusing on the disposal of waste how to plan and how to manage this whole globe to minimize the waste so this is called waste management waste management is the collection transport processing recycling disposal of waste material produced by human activities to reduce their effect on human human health and and human life it also try so you know the the lot of and the number of activities are involved for the waste management that is, these activities are transport processing recycling disposal of materials okay so these are the different activities and we have to focus each and every activities to to manage efficiently the waste it also try to reduce waste material effect on natural world and the environment to recover resources from them urban rubbish is most dust and dirt hair paper food scrap metal glass and plastic traditional disposal has been to bury rubbish in landfill sites or incinerate landfill operation the area being filled has a rubbish size rubberize landfill linear in place this prevent leaching material migrating downward through the underlying rocks so this is site a little view of site of landfill area waste management waste management is a collection transport processing recycling disposal of waste material produced by the human activities and their effect on the human health and life it also try to reduce waste material effect on natural and environment resources from them specifically specifically today our lecture is confined on the waste management in agriculture and fishery field you know fishery is also a activity of agriculture so the main problem here are the waste product from farms 
farm is a farming is a industry which generates several waste material for example slurry silage effluent or <coughs> overuse incorrect use of chemical fertilizers animal manures excess of these may and water resources water resources and cause algal blooms and eutrophication problems agriculture solution is spreading the slurry on the land of the fertilizer this must be a managed accurately in order to maximize the value of the nutrient for crop production and minimize their impact on environment this next soil nutrient programs aims to ensure optimum crop yield and protect the quality of water sources by avoiding pollution from agriculture soil nutrient programs the amount of the fertilizer and light uh, sorry applied can be determined to ensure the optimum yield without causing environmental damage when devising the fertilizer program the soil fertility stated must be known on foot of regular soil testing there there must be full recognition of all sources of nutrient both organic and inorganic regular soil testing is very important to help help to maintain a balance of nutrient in soil in soils plastic on farm plastic is a very uh, global problem everywhere Uh, we use the plastic and after use it become very dangerous based and its management is compuls uh, is management is require a lot of attention plastic bag agriculture field is uh, is not uh, uh, not avoid from the uh, waste of the plastic so plastic bags from fertilizer plastic silage wrap strand all around a farm is becoming a thing of the past legislation ensure the ensure that the plastic must be collected by the producer and dealt without appropriately biggest waste management problems in agriculture slurry silage effluent and overuse incorrect use of chemical fertilizers these are the very important and the problem attention and, and, and attracting the uh, attention of the scientist spreading slurry must be managed accurately in conjunction with the soil nut nutrient programs waste management in fishery as there is a lot of problem of waste in the agriculture field similarly there is, it similarly fishery is is activity of ag agriculture is also assigned with a lot of problem of the waste so waste management is is requirement of the fish industry fish landing and cleaning a major pollutant of marine sand harbors accumulated fish waste lead to the severe problem and one of the problems unpleasant odors infestation of rats maggots low o2 oxygen level low oxygen level in the harbor water due to the decomposition of the waste of waste of fishery by bacteria solid organic by product of the fishing industry were going to landfill this has been greatly reduced by recent legislation and dumping at sea is not an option according to the eu regulation new projects are testing various method of management of fish waste example compositing anaerobic digestion recycling of proteins oil etc animal feeds and oils fish offal is converted to fish meal and this is sold on the on as animal feed for chicken and pigs some oil is extracted from the waste during the process and this is exported for further refining and 
then use in health food supplement the fish waste is chopped and liquefied then forming acid then formic acid is added to it that convert it into the silage this is called ensiling the resulting liquid silage can be used for fertilizer compositing of fish waste is compositing of fish waste is becoming more popular now and it result in a soil enhancer or fertilizer that is odor free stable and and easily stored this will probably become the favored option for industry in the near in the near future problems with waste disposal no doubt there is a several waste problems in fishery industry what what we are trying to facing them so few of them few of them few of challenge present in the fishery industry for waste disposal one of these are availability of suitable landfill site the toxic or polluting content of fumes from incineration co2 other acidic oxide and dioxins produced from burning of plastic decaying waste produce methane gas which contribute to greenhouse gases harmful substances may leak into ground water supply well lakes reservoirs etc plants and animals in rivers and lakes are killed through direct poisoning or eutrophication these are the few sites we are facing the problem of waste management in fishery industry now in spite of this problem we are trying to giving possible best solution for waste management in fishery industry these are lifestyle change lifestyle changes and education programs for all ages are needed to alter the attitude to littering and waste minimization and disposal use microorganism to degrade the rubbish and produce fuel pellets reduce the use of paper and recycle more papers biodegradable material for example paper bags should be used in place of plastic ones tax has been placed on plastic bag in shops in bazaar in bazaar rubbish sorting at source make disposal more efficient example householders could separate metal paper plastic glass recycle and vegetable waste for compositing increase insert insert insulation temperature to avoid dioxin production and fit catalyst discovers inside chimney suggestions for waste minimization so these are the very important of our today to the today lecture on waste management that is these are the suggestion for waste minimization so we should follow these suggestions and and go through these selection suggestions reduce useless and minimize waste reduce useless minimize waste reuse use again without changing but maybe for a different purpose recycle chain recover some material and use again so these are the suggestion very important thank you very much in my class